Hello, good morning everyone. This is day seven of our live event, Make Your Own Sourdough Starter with Me. And today I thought I'd have a special treat and make some waffles with the discard. Instead of throwing it away, I went ahead and fed it a little bit of water and flour and I made some sourdough starter. So this is the extra from the discard and I'm going to go ahead and make some waffles this morning just for fun. So uh, on day seven, we will mainly just be feeding our starter again, but since it's smelling good now, you can go ahead and start making some different types of food with it, like waffles, muffins, pancakes, things like that. So this morning, let's make up some waffles and let's have some fun with our starter. So I've got 77 grams of all-purpose flour here. I'm gonna tear that out. We'll add three grams of salt, which isn't very much. A little bit more. Okay, we got three grams of salt. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda. When it gets to be that small, it's hard to measure in grams. Got a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Now this is a really small amount of batter. It's just going to make three waffles. But you can double it to make about six to seven waffles. And one teaspoon of baking powder. So we'll mix that up. So we've got 77 grams of all-purpose flour, three grams of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder. And I'll set that aside. Now in the second bowl, we'll be doing our, our wet ingredients. So we'll start with 96 grams of starter. This is at 100% hydration. 96 grams of starter, 88 grams of water. That's good. 55 grams of milk. Buttermilk would work great as well. One large egg. 11 grams of malt syrup or maple syrup. So the malt syrup's a bit stickier and harder to get out and it'll be a little easier during the demonstration to use some maple syrup. So I'll use 11 grams of maple syrup and 35 grams of melted butter. I have some melted butter here that's already cooled a little. I'll pour that in. We'll stir this up. That seems pretty good. And we'll take the dry flour. This is the dry flour mixture with the baking soda and baking powder and salt in it. Pour it in. So we've got the uh, starter, which is a hybrid starter. It's got a little bit of the whole wheat in it. And we've got uh, all-purpose flour for the, for the other part of the formula. So the extra little bit of whole wheat's gonna add some nice flavor to the waffle. So we don't wanna stir it too much. So here's our batter. It'll thicken a little as it sits, uh, as the gluten absorbs some of the water. So after the waffle iron is heated uh, pretty hot, you need a, your waffle iron to be at the highest setting for sourdough, uh, we will go ahead and make some waffles and, and see how our waffle batter turns out. Okay, our waffle iron's ready. Spray it real quick. Usually takes about one ladle. After you feed your sourdough starter this morning, you can take the discard and make some waffles if you like. I made a half batch. Um, it makes about three to four waffles, depending upon the size of your waffle iron, or maybe even only two if you've got a large waffle iron. Um, or if you need more waffles for a larger family, double the batch. You might need to wait and Feed your starter and have some extra starter for your formula if you don't have enough for a double batch. Let's see how it's doing. That's looking pretty nice. So we have our sourdough waffle. That's a pretty little waffle there. Just need some butter and syrup or whipped cream and berries.
I really hope you enjoyed making waffles this morning with your sourdough discard. If you wanted to make the double batch, then you might want to take some of your discard and feed it so that you have a little bit more and use it later. So anyway, that's what you can do with your discard. So go ahead and keep feeding your starter and maybe another time you can try making pancakes, um, biscuits, muffins. There's all kinds of things that you can make with sourdough. And very often those types of things are wonderful to use up your sourdough discard with. So if you have some nice pictures of your waffles, go ahead and post them on Perfect Sourdough on Facebook. See you there.